two years, and uh, I'm excited to see all that God has planned for them, for him to fulfill that. A.W. Tozer said, God is the perfect creator, and he runs everything by being present in his works. It's clear being out here in this beautiful location today that God is a powerful creator. He has been present in Cole and Ashland's life so far, and it's humbling to think he is present with us here today. Will you join me in praying this evening? Father God, we are so thankful that you have gathered us here in this place for this special occasion. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit would meet with us. Lord, we want this marriage to start first and foremost with you in the middle. God, we pray that as we as Cole and Ashlyn begin their wedded lives together. God, that their focus would be on you. That Jesus, you would be the center of this marriage. So would you meet with us today? God, we love you. It's in Jesus, it's in your name we pray. Amen. Who presents this bride today to Cole? Her mother in law. Sir. 
Colin Ashland, today uh, will be a special day. It's an incredible day. But I promise you it will be like a blur when you look back on it. Uh, so I decided to only share with you one thing, all right? So maybe you can remember, I don't know. You might not still, but that's fine. Um, and it is this. Marriage is given to you to help you understand the gospel better. And how you delight in each other through marriage, you get a taste, just a taste, of what God's love really is for you. Cole, what is important is that you love God through Ashlyn, not replace God with her. She will make a wonderful companion, but a terrible God. Ashlyn should be like the ray of the sunshine to you, Cole. Marriage is the ray. God's love is the sun. Marriage is the symbol. God's love is the reality. Marriage is the stream. God's love is the ocean. In how you serve each other also, you see the pattern of the gospel. Cole and Ashlyn, each of you reveal a different aspect of the image of God. And that's awesome. But here's what's great. And you're not exactly the same. That's even better. We wouldn't need one of you if you were. But here's what's the great part about it is. When you come together, you reflect the image of God more perfectly together than you do by yourself. You all, we all have desires to be complete in ourselves, And at every point, God reminds us that we need something outside of ourselves to really be complete. Cole, your role is to be the leader of this home. And, and like Christ, in how he leads, this is how you should lead. By viewing, it is your responsibility, by viewing it as your responsibility to serve Ashlyn by loving and protecting her. By putting her interest before yours. You are to lead in such a way that for her, independence becomes a burden. Leadership is a burden to be borne, not a right to be claimed. Not entitlement to do whatever you want, but empowerment to do what you ought. Ashlyn, your role in this marriage and in this home is you're the heart. Everything runs through you. It, you're the loving center of this relationship. And I, I, Ephesians 5 puts it in the Word of God the best way for both of you. And I feel like I can't do the words justice, so I'm just going to read it to you. Here's what it says. Wives, understand and support your husbands in ways that shows your support for Christ. The husband provides leadership to his wife, the way Christ does to his church, not by domineering, but by cherishing. So just as the church submits to Christ as he exercised such leadership, Wives should likewise submit to their husbands. Husbands, go all out in your love for your wives, exactly as Christ did for the church. A love marked by giving, not getting. Christ's love makes the, whole, makes the church whole. His words evoke her beauty. Everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of her. Dressing her in dazzling white silk, radiant with holiness. And that is how husbands ought to love their wives. And then lastly, you two, and how you forgive each other. And how you forgive each other. You give a picture of the gospel, of what Christ has done for you. Cole, I know you think she's perfect. And right now in this moment, she may be. But the two of you will disappoint each other. And a lot of people in our world today get disappointed, and then they think divorce. They think, you're supposed to make me happy. God's main intention, listen, God's main intention was not to make you happy in each other. His main intention was to make you holy in each other. You are never more holy than when you are loving and forgiving like Christ has loved and forgive, forgiven you. God's intention in marriage is that you would know firsthand what it's really like to love a sinner just as Christ has loved us. To Cole and Ashlyn and to all of us here today, there is no better picture than the gospel than in marriage. And I hope 
today, you see that declared in their lives. Cole, will you have Ashlyn to be your wedded wife? To live together in a holy estate of matrimony, will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain loyal to her as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Ashlyn, will you have Cole to be your wedded husband? To live together in a holy estate of matrimony, will you love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, remain loyal to him as long as you both shall live? If so, say, I will. I will. Well, today, Cole and Ashlyn have um, decided to say their vows to each other. So I'm going to ask you guys to join hands if you're ready to enter into this covenant with one another. I've been waiting for this day to come for my whole life. Uh, the day where you and I get to begin this lifelong journey together. I'm pumped. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, I promise to selflessly lead, serve, care, love, and adore you from now when we're young to when we're old and gray. I promise to support you through the awesome times and the tough times. I promise to tell you how beautiful that you are, especially today and every day for the rest of our lives. I promise to be a man of God that will rely on his strength and not my own to lead you and our family one day closer to him. I promise to treat each day as an adventure where we take risks, we take chances, but most importantly, enjoy each and every second that we are given together. Life is all about little moments. They're what create memories that will last a lifetime. Whether it is dancing with you after dinner, laughing with you so hard it makes our stomachs hurt, or scratching your head and back until you fall asleep. I promise to always make time to put you first and allow for these little moments to define who we are. With God at the center of our lives and so many people that love and support us together, I know that we can take the world. I love you. Ashlyn, if you're ready, you can do the same. Cole, before I ever met you or even knew your name, I prayed for you. And within a week of knowing you, I had a feeling that you were the man I'd been praying for my whole life. Every time I look into your big brown eyes, I get a feeling that I knew from the beginning I couldn't live without. You have taught me what it means to love fearlessly, and you have given me a new meaning for the unconditional yet undeserving love that Christ has for me. I'm filled with joy to be standing here today as we have been counting down to this day for what seems like forever. But mostly I'm filled with such joy that today I become your wife. But not only your wife, I become your best friend, your teammate, and your biggest cheerleader. <laughs> I promise to treasure you for exactly who you are because God created you that way just for me. I promise to always say yes to your adventures, even though they may be a little crazy sometimes, because you have taught me what it means to live life to the fullest just as God intended. I promise to never dishearten you from dreaming big because you have taught me that no dream is never too big. I promise to encourage you, forgive you, and thank God for you every single day. I promise to respect you as the leader of our family, and I promise to pray for you that you will lead us with confidence and boldness to take us wherever God calls. I promise to always remind you of God's faithfulness in the good times in the bad times, and rejoice with him in you, with, in him with you in the good times. I promise no matter what we go through together in this lifetime that I will hold your hand through it all. <laughs> Lastly and most importantly, I promise to eagerly grow closer to Jesus so that I can love you in a, in a way that resembles his love for us. And I promise to let God shape and mold me into the wife that you deserve. <laughs> Cole, I feel so thankful to be here today, and I'm so beyond excited to start our new adventure together as husband and wife. Okay. Cole, do you have a ring to represent as a symbol of the covenant you just made? I do. For Ashlyn. I'm going to hand that to you if you'll put that on her ring finger. 
And then if you'll repeat after me, Cole. I, Cole, take I, you, Ashlyn, to be my wife. I, Cole, take you, Ashlyn, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as I live. For as long as I live. With this ring, I thee wed and give you my life. With this ring, I thee wed, give you my life. Ashlyn, do you have a ring as well for Cole? Place that on his ring finger. Repeat after me. I, Ashlyn, take you Cole to be my husband. I, Ashlyn, take you Cole to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as I live. For as long as I live. With this ring, I thee wed and give you my life. With this ring, I thee wed and give you my life. Ashlyn and Cole have um, decided to show the unity that they are two becoming one by using the cross that's behind me. And Ecclesiastes 4.12 in the Word of God says this, Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Cole and Ashlyn will now tie the unity cross, signifying that they are no longer two, but one in Jesus Christ, having left father and mother to establish their own family under God. The Lord, the Lord, the As much as Cole and Ashlyn have agreed together according to the teachings of Scripture and the laws of this state, I, as a minister of the gospel, declare they are husband and wife. What therefore God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Cole, you want to kiss your bride? You bet I do. <laughs>
Father, thank you so much for what you've done in Cole and Ashland's life. Thank you for all the, that you've done bringing them to this point. God, the, the footsteps, the, the leading of their paths to join together today. And God, we pray, as we prayed earlier, Lord, that you would be the center of this relationship. God, that you would launch these two in as they go out from this place as no longer two, but one. That they would be in the middle of your will and that they would be sent into a gospel-centered marriage. Jesus, with you being at the center. Lord, we love you. Thank you for meeting with us in this place. It's in Jesus, it's in your precious and holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is my wonderful privilege to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Cole Hyman.